Hi, oh YouTube! My name is Dexter, and welcome to this Friday special edition of Heroes of the Storm, where I'm playing Aram, because I'm tired as hell. Well, okay, not really that tired. I'm just, I'm kind of tired. I've been on my feet all day, and I uh, don't really want to think about what I'm doing, so I'm just going to go play some of the Brawl. Should be pretty fun. Should be okay. Um, I'm excited to see the... Uh, there was a, a live stream that went live yesterday uh, for Pokemon that I'm uh, I'm really excited about. Um, there's also a couple updates to Warframe. Um, yesterday I got to play... I got to be Garage, don't I? Uh, yeah, it appears so. Okay. <clears throat> so we have no range. That's not good. Um, but yeah, uh... There was a live stream yesterday from Nintendo, uh, from the Pokemon company, specifically, talking about the new DLC stuff coming to Pokemon, and I gotta say, I'm excited for it. I know it's basically just, um, I don't know how to word it. <clears throat> they're just, they're reintroducing a bunch of old Pokemon, um, is what they, uh, are aiming to do. That is how I understand it. They're aiming to release a bunch of, uh, or re-release a bunch of old Pokemon. Uh, my favorite thing about it was they, I, I, they didn't give any specifics. They didn't say anything specifically about it, rather. But it looked like they have redesigned the Kanto legendaries. Uh, looks like they redesigned Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Um, and I gotta say... I like Zapdos' redesign because he's an ostrich, but I don't understand why they turned the Thunderbird into the bird that cannot fly. Um, it is very odd to me. And I don't know why it happened. I like it. I'm okay with it. I just don't understand why. Okay, that didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. And Kathunk. Alright, let's see here. What did Tyron take? Tyron took... Alright. Why does she have two charges of stuns? Come on, kill him. Kill him! Get him! We're not getting him. And Kathunk. We're not killing him. We don't do damage. Oh, that's why there's two stones. They have two Tyrons. I get it. Alright. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yoink. There you go. And he's dead. And Kathunk. Oh, wait, they didn't walk into it. Dang, I thought they would. I was... I was outplayed. Come here, hero. Give me your health. And get stunk. Stunk, stunned, and dunked. I combined the two into a word that means not what I wanted it to mean. And I'm just gonna get my health back. Don't mind me. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know what Garrosh does, um, <clears throat> my Q button is called Groundbreaker, and I slam the ground. Enemies that are caught in the very tip of it are popped up into the air and stunned very briefly. Um, and then they are slowed afterward. Um, the talent I took at level 1 uh, gives me bonuses if I'm able to hit enemies in the actual tip of it. If I'm actually able to do the thing that Garrosh was meant to do. Um, which is kind of neat. Uh, when Garrosh first came out though, it was absolutely like there was no reason to let him into the game if your team was not first picked because you lost. Garrosh's, the reason being is because Garrosh's trait is that he gets super fucking tanky for just getting hurt. Um, every 1% of health that he's missing, or 2% of health that he's missing, reduces the damage that he takes by 1%. So, I, if I'm missing all of my health, I, it doesn't save me, but the, the lower on health Garrosh gets, the harder he is to kill. The only counter to him was, uh, percent health damage. Um, the other thing is that my stun there didn't used to just pop people up into the air. It used to bring them to you. Like, Garrosh, when he first came out, could do what Stitches and Diablo did together by himself. So if you had a Stitches and a Diablo, 
you wasted two picks because you could have just chosen Garrosh and done both of their jobs way better. Um, the reason being is because of my E button, which is called Overpower, and you just, you pick somebody up, or Wrecking Ball, sorry, it's Wrecking Ball, you pick somebody up and you throw them. <laughs> it, you don't have any real control over who you're grabbing, it just, whoever is closest to you, whenever you hit the button, is where they end up. So, you would ground slam at the very tip of it, uh, and throw people back into your entire team, or throw people back towards you, and then from there, throw them into your entire team. Thunk. It was honestly ridiculous what Garrosh was allowed to get away with, with just how durable he actually was. Um, the other part of it, or the last part of it, is that his W button is called Bloodthirst. You get a lot of health back for missing health. Um, if you hit your people, if he, you get 10% of your missing health, 20% if you hit a hero. Um, or at least I think that's how that works. Um, but yeah, you basically just enemy or you'd almost die in pretty much every single fight. Get out there. You'd almost die in almost every fight, and then you'd just hit them with the. Uh, <laughs> You'd tag him with, uh, Bloodthirst and get all the health you just lost back. Um, at this level I'm gonna take Into the Fray, and then Warlord's Challenge, because they don't have any auto attackers. Okay, they do, but it's Tyron, so it's not that big of a deal. But, um, Into the Fray allows me to throw an ally. Kind of like this. You just chuck an ally, uh, they gain armor after they hit the ground, I believe? Come on, let me go fast! Yeah, you better fucking run, Phoenix. Hey, everybody. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that real quick, don't mind me. I'm gonna chuck you. <laughs> yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've played my fair share of Garrosh. I know how Garrosh do. I know how Garrosh do. This was just mean, man. We ran over these people. Here I was thinking that having all melee damage dealers was going to be a bad idea. Get out. No, I didn't save him, but I tried my best. Lord knows I... Okay, we'll go this way. Fly Lucio! But yeah, I'm a really big fan of Garrosh. Like, when he, when he came out, he was single-handedly the best character. Just, he, he didn't do damage... He didn't need to do damage. It was kind of like Medivh. If Medivh didn't require you to have fucking, like, a PhD in understanding how dumb your teammates are, or are not. I'm about to die, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Unfortunate. Why was I so slow for so long? I don't know. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know why I was so slow. Um, maybe I wasn't slow, maybe I was just, maybe I'm just bad at the game, I don't know. Um, but I felt very, very, very slow trying to walk away from, uh, what's-his-face, uh, Asmodan, and I'm disappointed that I died. But, the one thing that I find really funny about Garrosh, and it was, the whole, I, I want to say the highlight of his character, uh, reveal, like his hero reveal trailer they tried so hard so hard to get people to take body check for Garrosh like the entire video was just hey you could take body check at level one and have a fifth ability except body check fucking blows like it's it's terrible and it's really funny that they thought it would actually, like, people would take it. Like, un <laughs> I don't want to say unironically, but it's kind, of, it's kind of what I mean. Come here, you. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. Okay, fine, don't come here, you. I didn't hit the right button, so I didn't get a chance to, uh... And we're just gonna take your health real quick, and I'm gonna... I'm not gonna throw you anywhere. Never mind, I thought I would. Thought I was gonna get a nice little toss there. And I'm gonna walk up on you and enjoy the, uh... Whatever it is there. The polymorph to the, um... Thunk. Nope, you're not leaving, bud. <laughs> the polymorph into the taunt combo is a terrifying combo. Uh, but the thing is about, uh, or my ultimate called Warlord's Challenge, um, it's very small cast range, 
but it taunts everything into attacking you, meaning nobody can do anything else but attack you. Go, Sonya! Oh, yeah, I thought he was gonna go a little bit further. Thunk! Alright, this level I'm gonna take double up. I forgot about that. I haven't been taking any of my talents because I'm tired. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna take Earth Shaker as well. So, double up allows me to activate my trait to double the armor bonus that I get for three seconds. So, if I have. If I get like 40 armor, I can double it to 80. Meaning, if I have 40 armor, I'm missing like 80% of my health. Kinda hard to kill a man with that amount of health. There we go. That's a win. That was an eight minute, nine minute win. Okay. GG. And so yeah, uh, that was kind of fun. <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I will catch you all next time, where or next week rather, where probably blah, 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 probably be playing some more Dauntless. Honestly, um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like the escalation mode. Eh, that's all there really is to it. But uh. Who knows what the future holds. Uh, but I hope you all enjoy this. I hope you enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch you all on Monday. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.